In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bold 3D text effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, open Photoshop and create a new document. Go to File, New, give it a name. And for this example, we'll set the size to 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of either 150 or 300 ppi in RGB color mode. Then, click Create. Now, we'll set up the background. Add a solid color adjustment layer and change the color to 0, 0, 5, B, A, 1. You can delete the default background layer since we won't need it. Next, add another solid color layer, this time using the hex code 838383. Click OK. To apply some cool effects, go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, and click OK. If you notice the filter gallery is grayed out, go to Image, Mode, and select 8 bits per channel. Once that's done, you'll be able to access the filter gallery from the filter menu. In the filter gallery, choose reticulation from the sketch filters and tweak the settings to your liking. When you're happy with it, click OK. Now, let's enhance the effect a bit. Double-click on the Smart Filter icon and in the dialog box, change the blending mode to screen. Then, change the blending mode of the second color fill layer to multiply. To add some lighting, create a new layer above and activate the Gradient tool. Select the foreground to Transparent Gradient and click the icon to edit it. Set the first color stop to white and make sure the second opacity stop is at 0% opacity. Then, set the Gradient Opacity to 50% and select Radial Gradient. Hold down Shift while dragging the gradient from the top to the bottom to create a nice lighting effect. Change the layer's blending mode to soft light and set the opacity to around 50 to 70%. You can resize and adjust the gradient to match your desired light source. Once done, group all your layers and name the group background. Now for the text. Create a new empty layer and activate the horizontal type tool. Pick a bold font of your choice. Here, I'm using Argentum Sans in extra bold at 105 points. Type your text onto the canvas and press the check mark to confirm. To center your text, press Ctrl A, activate the move tool, and use the alignment icons to center it both horizontally and vertically. Then press Ctrl D to deselect. Next, we'll give the text some shape. Double click the text layer to bring up the properties panel. If it's not visible, go to Window Properties. Set the VA amount to around 120, then click the warp text icon. Choose Arc as the style. Set the bend to around 10 and click OK. Right-click the text layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Let's add some effects. Click the FX icon and select Color Overlay. Set the color to E, 0, 5, E for FF. And keep the blend mode at normal with 100% opacity. Next, activate Stroke and set the size to 20 pixels, position to Outside, and Fill Type to Gradient. In the Gradient Editor, select the Foreground to Background preset and add a new color stop at 50%. Adjust the colors and midpoints to create a vibrant gradient. Then click OK. Now add an inner shadow with the following settings. Blend Mode, Multiply, and change the color to 0968B7. 5% Opacity, Distance, 10 pixels, Choke, 30, Size, 40, and Angle, minus 90. To finish the main text style, 
Activate Bevel and Emboss. Set the style to Stroke Emboss, Technique to Smooth, and Depth to 385%. Adjust the size and soften settings as needed to create a subtle, raised look. Duplicate the text layer by pressing Ctrl-J and rename it to Text Gloss FX. Delete all layer styles except for Bevel and Emboss. And adjust the settings for a glossy effect. Then, duplicate the main FX layer and place the copy below the original. Name the duplicate layer Extrude. Now, we'll create the extrusion effect. Rasterize the extrude layer by converting it to a smart object first. Then right-click and select Rasterize Layer. Press Ctrl-J to duplicate it then press Ctrl T to transform it. Maintain the aspect ratio. Resize the width by 99.5% and press Enter two times to confirm. Now, press Ctrl Alt Shift T multiple times to create the extrusion effect. Now, select all the extrusion layer copies, then go to Layer, Arrange, and choose Reverse. Finally, Group all the extrusion layers and apply bevel and emboss for a 3D effect. Adjust the drop shadow to give the text depth. You can also add a new layer and brush in some shadows to enhance the look even further. And that's it! You've just created a stunning 3D text effect in Photoshop. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.